And tonight, right here on the ranch, the Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron battling out in court over the COVID-19 orders of Democratic Governor Andy Beshear. Cameron turning the spotlight away from the protesters on his lawn the other day right to the Boone County Circuit Court, where he's now asking the judge to block all of Beshear's past and present coronavirus orders. Your many comments on this legal move in a second, but first, a lot of you are still talking about those protesters and the charges placed against them as they marched to his East End house and sat on the lawn. Hello, I think it's outrageous to charge those 87 protesters with a felony for practicing their constitutional right. I know when they, they had those protesters at McConnell's house, not one of them got arrested. All of a sudden, it's taken three, four, five, and six months talking about they need to take the time and do what needs to be right. What needs to be right is to speed it up and get it done like you would do anything else. Thank you so much for letting me uh, rant a little bit. Uh, I think the protesters are doing a great thing. Uh, some of them get out of hand, but, you know, we need to get the message out that black lives matter and all lives matter. Why do these protesters think that the laws apply to everyone except them? They think they're above the law for some bizarre reason. More rants coming in today. John in Louisville. The Attorney General needs to keep politics out of all this. Lives are at stake. Tanya in Elizabethtown. Cameron is trying to protect our rights. Andy, you have taken enough away in such a short time the damage you have caused. Amanda in Louisville. Until our Attorney General acts like he's serving all Kentuckians, he will never earn any respect from anyone in the middle. Maybe he should take to heart how that feels when protesters are on his lawn. Brianna's family will never know peace again. Dwayne in Oklahoma didn't Bashir, when he was Attorney General, challenge anything and everything Matt Bevan did. Taste of his own medicine. Rebecca in the Clifton neighborhood. Daniel Cameron seems not to be interested in helping to save lives. He's interested in being heard and setting up his own agenda. I'm sorry I voted for him. I won't the next time. Well, there's a lot to rant about here tonight. The legal battle over the COVID-19 orders. Who do you stand by? Plus, you just watched JCPS School Superintendent Marty Polio. Remote learning will continue when the school season begins. The start date expected to be Tuesday, August 25th. Here's how you can rant tonight. Post a message on my Facebook page. You can use Twitter at WHAS11Doug. Follow me on Twitter if you like. Keep your emails coming to the rant at WHAS11.com. And the toll-free rant line is now open at 855-749-1101.